Hi everyone. Today I am going to take a lecture on introduction to civil engineering. So in this session we shall see about the different scopes of civil engineering. So we knew that civil engineering means it's fully based on construction, right? So the construction of each and every little things comes under the civil engineering part. So the definition of civil engineering is it's an art of directing the great sources of power in nature for the use and convenience of man so just it is like fully built for the convenience of man right so it's a field which is, which is comprised of planning designing construction for controlling the environment and developing the natural resources buildings and to develop the transportation facilities and other structures that is required for health to welfare safety employment and the pleasure of mankind so the civil engineering is a uh, like a wild field and um, like it's very wide that uh, you cannot categorize it into a single part it is having like uh, residential uh, we have residential buildings public buildings industrial buildings roads bridges tunnels railways airports dams etc so we have n number of items to be described when coming to civil engineering so um, in this civil engineering we have different fields like surveying and leveling building planning and construction advanced construction structural engineering geotechnical engineering water resource engineering transportation engineering environmental engineering and town planning we have different scopes of civil engineering so we shall see about one by one in the upcoming presentation the first one is surveying surveying means this is the foremost one in the civil engineering so earlier uh, or even nowadays we can say that when we start uh, any construction first we need to know the area where we have to build right the area the volume uh, volume of like uh, uh, what we need to prepare one uh, simple plan right for that we need to have one map along with with us in a small scale right so this surveying is being used for like uh, measuring the land so this is the foremost uh, field in the civil engineering so nowadays also you can see surveyors in the road construction they will be carrying lot of instruments for them it shows that there is advancements in the surveying because um, you cannot uh, categorize like uh, all the land surface will be even so the land surfaces will be having lot of undulations so when you want to construct any building you need to fulfill the undulations for fulfilling the undulations you need to do a surveying and then um, the levels sh should be like recorded and with respect to that we need to make the surface even so that the land will be like in the same uh, um, like level and you can build the uh, buildings so in the surveying nowadays they are using graphical positioning system gps and the graphical information system gis and we have remote sensing everything or nowadays it's possible so you can see total station one instrument or theodolites with the tripod stand you can see in the um, um, like uh, while doing the road surveys so that says that um, whenever they carry the instrument they will fix one benchmark and with respect to that they will uh, calculate all the uh, ups downs and angles everything so now earlier they will be using chains or tabs or tapes and all for measuring but nowadays that instrument is very digitalized means when uh, you fix certain benchmark it will give the result of all the um, like uh, um, uh, the levels heights uh, undulations everything so that is possible only in the surveying and um, like uh, leveling so here uh, what i have said no the same thing you can see in the figure so they they are having one leveling instrument see and with respect to that they are calculating the load road surface right and the next one is building material so building materials means are uh, we have uh, earlier we will be having stones right now uh, and uh, before a uh, uh, few years we will be having bricks sand cement uh, concrete this things reinforcement everything nowadays it is very advanced like we are using plastic uh, right even for flooring we have uh, wood uh, plywoods uh, glasses tiles and we have fiber reinforced concrete carbon reinforced concrete glass reinforced concrete 
so lot of things or lot of advancements are came in this building materials and even now uh, when the mud is not available they are using crushed sand nowadays and manufactured sand nowadays and even uh, when the bricks are not there the good replacement for brick is like hollow blocks right you can see it in the metro cities while uh, traveling also like um, um, they will be uh, in the frames they will be like um, having this uh, different hollow blocks and uh, even uh, fiber reinforced concrete they are using for bridge construction and everything where they will stand like a earthquake resistant structures right so uh, the next one is construction technology so the um, like surveying building materials is second uh, the next part the construction technology is very very important because the usage of resources plays a vital role in building um, any type of uh, um, uh, buildings that is like roads or tunnels bridges airports and whatever right so the proper usage that that is done by very like uh, very professionally it should be done means the managing the men material money labors and equipments whatever it has simply the design shouldn't be spoiled so it is in the hands of a construction engineer right the next one is structural engineering structural means it's a fully um, a design part in the civil engineering means um, for example if you are building a multi storied building all right you cannot use the same proportions or same uh, dimensions as we used for a small residential home so it varies when you are going for industrial building again the loads are varying right so with respect to the indian standard code books this structural engineers okay um this particular engineers they will design for beams columns slabs everything and they will analyze the load calculation perfectly and they will make the figure they they will uh, draw the plan and they will give the size for each and every beams columns foundation like everything these people will uh, play a major role in that it's only but like analyzing the stresses in the um, um, building right so um, the uh, we knew that the loads in the slab uh, will be carried to the beams the loads in the beams will be carried to the columns right so one by one the load will be transmitted to the ground level so it should happen smoothly for that this particular department will take care <coughs> as i said see you can see a figure okay with a lot of design um, like calculations analysis they will make a proper figure next one is geotechnical geotechnical engineering is fully um, concerned with the geological uh, one means uh, um, uh, like um, uh, it studying about the earth so testing the soil and the weather checking that it is suitable for the foundation right we have different types of foundation like uh, shallow foundation deep foundation pile foundation kaizens coffer dams etc um so for uh, every foundations um like um, you need to check for safe bearing capacity of the soil if you have the limited uh, like um, proper uh, say sbc that is safe bearing capacity then you can go for building uh, means uh, um, uh, laying the foundation so uh, geotechnical engineering will take care of the foundation and soil related uh, works so soil investigations and testings will comes under this department so here you can see it's a separate department actually so they this people like already this building have been built okay now they are strengthening the existing foundation see by providing the steel rods so um, like this particular person is reading about the soil properties so this they are like geotechnical engineers the next one is water resource engineering water resource means since in india is a very um, agricultured country and we have so many hydraulic structures like dams canals etc we need to think for how to store the water okay so water resource engineering deals with saving the resources okay and um, like uh, dams uh, uh, like hydro power station pipe networks everything is there to store water and to take it to the fields so um, um like the study of hydrology also like deals about this water resource engineering only hydrology means different uh, water um, like uh, uh, study about the rainfall and the water resource availability the so you are here you can see how they are storing the water in the dam and it will be diverted to the fields and canals right and the next one is transportation engineering transportation engineering means it's like um, 